Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody had a good New Year's. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Wonder Girl type beat, kind of for the likes of like Don Tolliver and Travis Scott. So if you like the sound of this... And stick around, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I got is off Splice, these uh, like piano. It's like a vintage piano, it sounds like this. And the first thing I did with this, I cut this first chord, made it unique, and then I dropped it by five semitones. It just fits in the scale still and just gives it that nice, like, dark vibe. And then all I did was that, a tiny reverb. It's already processed, so I don't need to do much. And then I used an EQ just to boost some highs a little bit, take away the little low end. So next thing I want to do, I want to make it very dark and, like, synth type and use a lot of orchestra. So, so I use, like, this bell sound that sounds like this. And all that was is just a little counter melody just to interact with the piano nicely. And all I did was that quite heavy reverb. And then I used the reels after the reverb just to give it that nice saturation and flutter sound on top of the reverb. I feel like sometimes I feel like if you put the reels on after, it just gives it a different effect where it's like manipulating the reverb. Then just a heavy delay that I always use. Next thing I used was like this trippy like synth sound that sounds like this. So yeah, yet again, bounces off the piano nicely, nice little counter melody with the other melody. But what I did with this, as you can see here, I used a low height and a shaper box, so I'll show you. And as you can see, I've like piano rolled here. And what I've did with the shaper box is I've got this stutter, so it just gives it like a weird trippy vibe. And then I've just filtered it out a little bit so it wasn't too harsh. And it sort of comes in here, I'll show you with the automation. It's very subtle, but it just gives it a nice trippy dark vibe. Just to filter that out a little bit, I just put a low high on it with the same automation, as you can see here. Added this like hard lead synth sound that just sounds like this at the end, just as an accent note. And all that was just to give it a nice feed into back into the chords. And then again, shape a box, just give it a little bit of a side change that pulses in and reverb and delay as usual. And then throughout this, I bring in like this section of strings. So they sound like this. That just gives it a nice vibe, a dark vibe that Wonder Girl likes to use. And all I did with that was just layer stacked it with like a down pitched version that sounds like this. And I didn't do really any process into that. I think I just cut out some highs to make it a little less harsh. Next thing I added was like this cry pad that sounds really cool and just gives it again dark feeling and just sets the tone halfway through like the beat. And what I like about that, it just gives it a nice break to like the uh, drums and just complements them well, which you'll see. And then what I've done on this, just a chorus cassette with the static down, a little bit of reverb, had some on it, so I didn't really need to go crazy. Then just took out some lows as usual. And as you can see for the intro of the well pad, I've reversed it, so it's like this. And as what I like about that, you can feel the tension rising in it. It just gives it a nice aesthetic and just a nice intro to the whole beat. What I did with that, I put a half time on just to slow it down a little bit. And as you could probably hear, tons of delay. So I've got the one, two on both sides just to give it a crazy delay. So it's just going out fast and fast. And then I had like little breaks where I added these vocals that sound like this. And 
and this is what the vocals sound like. They've come from Splice as well. They sound like this. To get the vocals sounding like that, some very like weird and dry but like chorusy, I've put this primal tap on it. Then the reels after with some reverb, and I've just cut out some little like lows, highs. Then I've just added tons of uh, delay. Once the delay was on that, I exported it, reversed it, pitched it down, as you can see here. Then put it back into another channel rack where I added a width delay that just makes it so trippy. Like it just comes and pans in at different times crazily. So you see that cool like aesthetic. Took out some lows because obviously pitched it down. And then I just brought the brightness up with this uh, J37. So let's get straight into the drums. The first thing I added was just the hard 808s that sound like this. And what I like about them, very high end and just cut through the mix very nicely. So for the first hi-hat, I added like some little rolls here, as you can see just to give it a like, nice bounce off the drums because the whole the sample where the piano has a nice bounce and rhythm you can make a nice bounce off the drums as well then I just added a regular hi-hat that sounds like this and what I like about them I just changed the timing a little bit so the hi-hat was hitting just a little bit after just to give it a cool bounce and then this snare that's hard just sort of like a rim shot Then I added just an extra perk and another hi-hat that sounds like this. Every bit of the drums is just bouncing on perfect. And then next, the hard hit and kick that's just in your face. And then the beat all together all sounds like this. Yeah, that is the whole beat all together. It just come out perfect. Definitely the vibe that Wonder Girl would go for. Hard hitting kicks with like sample pianos and like orchestra. So if you like this, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. If you want me to do any other videos and you know what to do, my Instagram's gonna be on the screen and I'll see you in the next one, people.